Hi, I'm Kate Stark, reporter for Queensland Country Life, and I'm here in beautiful Biggenden for the 4th of July wiener sale. Yeah, today you saw us uh, yard just over 2,400 wieners here at our second annual wiener sale for the year. Uh, the quality of the cattle was quite remarkable, uh, considering a lot of the cattle showed a fair bit of sign of having a good condition and, and well presented, and I think this mild weather has, has helped us uh, achieve that. And yeah, most uh, vendors were very happy with the prices they received for their cattle, and, and, the, and the buyers sort of were able to come and buy big lines of cattle and, and get what they came for. It shows that uh, when times are tough, when the market is a little bit tougher, that the people that have uh, invested in better genetic cattle previously, uh, they're the ones that are out in front now, and it's uh, always the same. That you know, if you, you keep lifting your game and, and, and spend the money on the good cattle, it, it pays dividends, and especially in the tough times, also and also in the good times. Well, I'm hoping, like everybody, that you know, in the spring things turn around and we get back to a bit of normality and, and take a bit of pressure off of uh, the supply of cattle. I think our, our next sale will see the yard around that 1,000, 1,200 head like we normally do in our fortnightly sales. It's a meatworks and store sale, so we'll be back to our normal numbers then. This is a special sale because everybody, you know, saves their wieners up for these days so you get the bigger volume buyers from away to, to come make an event of it and, and compare your cattle with everyone else's cattle in the, in the region.